Hey, welcome back to my bench. This is a quick video on the RadioMaster MT-12 and setting up the trim switches. So one, two, three, four, five, these switches, even though they're actually numbered five, four, one, two, three. And two of these inside the software are called throttle trim and steering trim, even though they're labeled differently. And anyway, um, I think a lot of surface guys have seen these and just assume that they're kind of like general inputs, like you can use them for whatever you want. And Edge TX isn't really set up for that. There's there's kind of different buckets for the different inputs and uh, switches like SC there and SB on the bottom. And these switches uh, are different than trim switches. And you can't really easily set them up as you would a, a switch the they're they're different um other surface radios such as like the fly sky mb4 here uh you can go into the assign menu and uh assign them to pretty much anything you you want them to be so uh, uh my normal setup for my racing vehicles is i've got i got steering trim i've got steering dual rate I've got steering expo and brake dual rate. And inside of here, you can assign them to be a ton of different things. And I think some people were just assuming that on the MT-12, it would be the same thing. We've got, you can actually control different channels. We got all the trims, we got dual rates, expo, speeds, ABS settings. Uh, basically any anything you can control on the radio through the menu, you can assign to these switches very very easily and straightforward um, so anyway I wanted to talk about a couple different ways that I know of I'm not an edge TX expert but the couple different ways I know of to use these switches all right so first I want to show the kind of quick and dirty way to do a momentary two position switch and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into model and we're going to go over to our mixes and we're gonna make sure that the channel we want to use in this case channel 3 is empty if it does have something in there, you can just long press and do delete. Then we're going to go over to the special functions. And you can see there's already stuff in here that do like the LEDs. And this is kind of a, a good way to see what's going on here. You can see as I, as I pull the trigger back and forth to do the different colors, you can see these different things highlight. So in that same way, we're going to go down here and we're going to add a new function. And we're going to long press, we're going to go to trims, and in this case we're going to use T4. So we can scroll down to T4 plus, and we're going to override, which is the first option, channel 3. And for plus we're going to do 100, 101 is fine, come on work with me. And make sure that checkbox is checked so it actually does it. So now when we go up. We can see that the servo goes to plus 100. Down still doesn't do anything. All right, so now we can hit, so it's a little bit weird because we're trying to scroll up and down and it just, we're just kind of stuck here. So you gotta hit the return button and then we can go to the next line and we can do the same thing. We can add the trim, go to the trims, T4 minus now, we're gonna override channel three and we wanna go to minus 100 and check the checkbox. And now when we go down, it goes down. So that's the quick and easy way to have this momentary switch set up. All right, so if you want to do something like control a two-speed transmission or something that you want to be able to click and it holds that position and you click the other way and it goes back to the other end of travel, the best way I know of to do that is to go back into the model screen, go over to the logical switches, and in here we're going to add a sticky. And we can see there's already st a sticky in there by default that uses this button to start and stop the timer. And you can see when you click it, you click it, it's on, you click it, it's off. We're going to do something similar with the trim switch as well. Uh, so we can come down here, we'll just use this one to add a space in there. You can uh, click and scroll. Sticky is the last one, so you can just scroll all the way down real quick. And inside of here, we're going to add the trim switch. So click and hold to open up that menu. 
and we're going to use trim switch four as well again we're going to add trim switch positive and we're going to add trim switch negative here and we're going to long press and turn that to invert and what that's going to do is make it so that the when you move up it turns the the up off when you move down it, move, it turns the down off so now we can see we have exactly what we want here we can we we enable it and then we disable it enable it disable it when we click up the switch and down the switch again you can see how it turns bold there when you go either way so now since we have an on off signal that's controlled by a momentary switch we can go back over to the mixer and we can add a new mix for channel three and we're going to uh, there's a little thing that annoys me you long press and you expect to see logical stuff here but it's actually not there so you just have to scroll down to get to the logical switches we'll click first scroll down until you get to the l's i believe it was l7 that we just set up so now see where you keep clicking up it doesn't do anything click down moves to the bottom of the travel so again this would be useful for like two-speed gearboxes diff locks that sort of thing so hopefully that was useful uh, using these trim switches there's there's a bunch of them and i don't know for electric models the only trim i ever use is steering trim um joshua bardwell has a video on how to set these up to control other things like dual rate so that that's also super super useful using the global variables uh, but hopefully this is useful for controlling servos with these switches because we got them may as well use them